Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Musallam, the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh, the deputies of the two councils, and members of the response or the response committees. They submitted to His Majesty the responses of the two councils to the keynote speech, which was delivered by His Majesty the King at the inauguration of the first legislative session of the sixth legislative term. They also expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the last ten days of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty and the Kingdom many happy returns. His Majesty welcomed the guests and exchange with them Ramadan blessings and wish Bahrain and his people many happy returns. His Majesty praised the successful experiences of the kingdom and his people's keenness to raise its status and added that the status of the kingdom requires his people's keenness in all fields. His Majesty indicated that Bahrain is a pioneer in education, health, municipal services and other fields and Bahrain celebrated the centenary of these services. He expressed appreciation for the compatibility and coordinations between the two authorities and their constructive cooperation, which represents one of the solid foundations for the development and modernization process in the country. His Majesty also praised the constructive initiatives and proposals included in the response of the two councils to develop the legislative and oversight performance, praising the achievements that have been made through the course of national action in various aspects of life and the efforts of national caters and their continuous efforts in serving the country. He stressed Bahrain's determination to continue its approach of modernization modernization or moderation, openness, tolerance and coexistence to build bridges between peoples and cultures and spread peace in the world. He stated that the people of Bahrain respect all religions and other people without discrimination, which confirms the distinguished status of the kingdom and its people since ancient times. His Majesty praised the dedicated efforts of uh, the two council's members, stressing commitment to continuing work to further reinforce relations with other countries. For their part, the representative speaker and Shura Council chairman, as well as as the representatives expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his keenness to promote the democratic approach through His Majesty's unlimited support for the legislative authority and His Majesty's praise for its achievements for the benefit of the country and the citizens. The Shura Council's response to the royal speech included praise for the approaches and priorities. The Council pledged uh, to His Majesty to work with the executive authority to review legislation and enact laws that support the protection of Bahraini society, hailing His Majesty's keenness to seek consensus senses as an approach. The Council noted His Majesty's directive to continue government efforts in implementing the Economic Recovery Plan and the Physical Balance Program, which will be an approach for the Legislative Authority to strengthen relevant legislation. It expressed pride in the performance of Bahraini women and their contributions to national development, which requires further review of women supporting legislation to achieve further empowerment and partnership. The Council also expressed pride in the honorable achievements of the youth sector pledging to exert further efforts towards the development of the sector's legislative framework. The Council pledged to His Majesty to move forward towards a new state of national legislative march based on cooperation and experience. For its part, the Representatives Council affirmed to continue to assume its national responsibility through utilizing constitutional reforms in national decision making for the importance of constitutional life and the endeavor to deepen democratic practice. The Council also commended His Majesty's keenness on protecting the system of values that stems from Islam and Bahraini traditions to maintain the national identity. It affirmed that the royal directives are an inspiration for the next parliamentary efforts along with the government in its efforts to implement the economic recovery plan and pass through the stage of physical balance to implement the financial and economic support programs for citizens. The Council highlighted its legislative and oversight contributions to the climate change issue and achieving environmental balance and to sustainability of natural resources. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday visited the Majlises of Muhammad Ibrahim Al Mutawwa and uh, Prince Faisal bin Muhammad bin Shreem Al Murri. His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom's commitment to implementing the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa through efforts to create opportunities for Bahraini citizens across the Kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted that Ramadan Majlises bring together communities and represent the commitment of Bahraini citizens to supporting development opportunities. His Royal Highness commended the focused efforts of Bahraini 
citizens to meet the kingdom's development goals, including Team Bahrain's contribution from the executive and legislative authorities, private sector and civilians. The measures hosts and guests uh, have expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his visit and wish Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several senior officials. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with Noga Holdings Chairman and members of the Board of Directors, subsidiaries, and chief executives. His Highness praised their efforts in supporting the transformation process in the sector. His Highness affirmed the importance of enhancing joint cooperation with companies involved in the oil and gas sector in Bahrain with the aim of raising the efficiency of operations to achieve the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the sector. He stressed the commitment to the energy sector transformation plan and making it a more profitable, diversified and sustainable sector. He also stressed the importance of overcoming the challenges of the sector relying on sustainable sources and achieving the goals of zero neutrality and diversifying sources of energy supply and natural resource management. His Highness expressed his thanks and gratitude to all NOGO holding employees for their efforts and keenness to follow the best professional practices. He added the appreciation for these efforts achieves the aspirations to reach excellence and efficiency, which ensures the achievement of economic growth in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF Annual Khabga. His Highness praised the humanitarian efforts of His Majesty the King, the Honorary President of RHF, and His Majesty's keenness to provide all forms of care to orphans in the kingdom to guarantee a safe and stable life for them. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the development of the RHF is a result of His Majesty's support, affirming his keenness for humanitarian work in all its forms. He expressed appreciation for the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister towards the RHF and its various initiatives. His Highness Sheikh Nasser wished the RHF children a blessed Ramadan and urged the students to continue achieving the best throughout their studies to reach their ambitions. For his part, the RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his interest and support to the Foundation's affiliates, hailing the role of the supporting institutions and companies and their contributions to humanitarian work inside and outside the Kingdom.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al-Musallam, affirmed the keenness of the Legislative Authority to continue cooperating with the Executive Authority to implement the Royal Visions, included in the keynote speech during the opening of the first session of the sixth legislative term, which is a national approach for action for the benefit of the Kingdom and its citizens. He asserted that the Royal Speech represents a roadmap for enhancing the comprehensive development process and a, and a fundamental basis for achieving the Kingdom's aspirations and goals for political development and economic growth. In partnership with the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He pointed out that the unlimited royal support for the Council is a catalyst for doubling efforts in serving the homeland and citizens to achieve fruitful partnership in the national decision-making process. Adam Salem made these statements after being received by His Majesty the King, to whom he submitted the Council's reply to the royal speech. Adam Salem expressed pride in the wise foreign policy adopted by the Kingdom, citing its keenness to strengthen bilateral relations that are based on mutual respect and achieve security, peace and stability for countries and people. The Representatives the Council Speaker Ahmed al and Shura Council Chairman Ali al Saleh received Financial and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa al Khalifa and Parliament Minister Ghanem bin Fadl al Bouhainin. The Speaker and the Chairman stressed the keenness of the legislative and executive authorities to meet citizens' interests as the cornerstone of development led by His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Speaker noted economic growth and the positive outcomes of the recovery plan, urging cooperation to achieve physical balance for the sake of in the present and future. He also affirmed the commitment of the Council of Representatives to enhance Bahraini family standing or standard of living, creating rewarding opportunities for youngsters and pushing national development forward. Asalah pointed out that the joint meetings regarding the state budget for fiscal year 2023 and 2024 would contribute to maintaining further financial and economic stability, stressing commitment to continuing activating the initiatives stipulated in the fiscal balance program. The finance minister emphasized the importance of heeding national interests and working as a team and coordinating with the legislative authority to achieve goals and supporting national development. He noted that the citizens represent the cornerstone of national development, praising the advanced level of joint cooperation between the two authorities. He stressed the importance of maintaining financial stability, spurring growth amid current global challenges, directing subsidies to benefit targeted eligible citizens and commitment to physical balance programs. Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh affirmed the, the royal directives of His Majesty the King in the speeches of His Majesty at the inauguration of the legislative session drive national development across all fields. He made the statement following a meeting with His Majesty the King to submit the response to the re royal keynote speech during the opening of the first legislative session of the sixth legislative term. Al Saleh noted that the royal directives included in His Majesty's speeches are a reference point from which initiatives are derived to contribute to further development and prosperity in the kingdom. Al Saleh praised the fruitful cooperation and coordination with the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He stressed the commitment of the Shura Council to continue fulfilling its legislative role and building national and international partnerships that serve the Kingdom. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular session chaired by its president, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Council congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Government and the people of Bahrain and the Islamic Nation on the last 10 days of the blessed month of Ramadan. The meeting commended the order of His Royal Highness to open, restore and rehabilitate 30 mosques in all governance within the framework of the Mosque Development Plan and expressed pride and appreciation for the continued support that houses of worship received from the government. The Council strongly denounced the Israeli police forces storming the courtyards of Al-Aqsa Mosque and attacking worship, which is a flagrant violation of the sanctity of holy places and the holy month. Under the patronage of the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan Naimi, the Ministry of Information held the annual Ramadan Ghabga for its employees at the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan. In the presence of a number of ministry officials, chief editors of local newspapers and a group of senior Bahraini artists. The Minister of Information honored distinguished radio and television programs and also delivered a speech in which he expressed his deep thanks and appreciation to all employees of the ministry for their dedication and sincerity, praising the efforts of all departments of the ministry that are contributing in the development of of national media. Dr. Naimi also affirmed the ministry's keenness to hold such social events to increase cohesion and strengthen the spirit of one family among all its employees, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. He wished the kingdom and his people many happy returns. 
An implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to launch a plan to develop places of worship in all governance. The Sunni Endowments Directorate announced the rehabilitation of Al Imam Al Shafi'i Mosque in Arad and Sabika Al Nis Mosque in Isa Town. The Jafari Endowments Directorate also announced completing the rehabilitation of the Sheikh Ahmed Al Wasati Mosque in Sitra and Al Hawra Mosque in Jamasan. The General Directorate of Traffic was able to detect and take legal measures against more than 2,278 violations of wrong overtaking from the emergency lane and waiting in the second row at uh, traffic lights and intersections during the past month, which comes within the framework of the role of the Directorate in implementing the law and achieving traffic safety. The Directorate affirmed that it continues to implement the law and detect violations that cause traffic disruptions in the right lane and traffic in general, calling on all drivers to adhere to traffic regulations and rules to preserve the safety of all.